This video is brought to you by E Win Racing. You know, the kind of chair I'm sitting in that can do this. Oh! oh, oh. oh. It's like an ab workout to get back up from that bad boy. Uh, yeah, E Win Racing, you guys go ahead and check out their chairs down below. 20% off code Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Let's get into today's topic. And we are in an interesting period in the Nintendo Switch's life cycle. I don't know what's going to happen next year. I know we just did a podcast that had some speculation in it about a new system next year. Who really knows? But what I do know is the GameCube game situation I find to be highly fascinating. We have had a lot of thoughts that maybe GameCube games could get added to things like Nintendo Switch Online. We've also had thoughts from, well, I don't know, I guess former, current, whatever, industry quote-unquote insiders such as Emily Rogers who noted earlier this year that Nintendo is working on a ton of GameCube remasters to end out the Switch's life over the next couple of years. We don't know what those GameCube remasters are. We know, well, we know about some rumors. <laughs> um, Metroid Prime HD, anyone? Metroid Prime Trilogy HD? Like, we've heard about that for a long time and still nothing. Uh, do I dare bring up the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess? Technically GameCube games. Well, yeah, technically GameCube games. But when we talk about those coming over, we're usually talking about the HD versions that existed on Wii U. And I know it's a sour point for some of you guys, as was very evident in our video earlier this week when we brought up the Wind Waker album coming out from uh, Zero Second Quest. But that's neither here nor there. That is obviously a possible direction that we could be seeing GameCube games come back in the future. See, GameCube's are that interesting platform since it is the last Nintendo platform where Nintendo was truly competing with other companies in the space, Xbox and Sony, so PlayStation and Xbox, for power. And yeah, actually, the GameCube was not the weakest platform and could legitimately play pretty much any game that came out that generation if they would have brought their games over. Unfortunately, a lot of third parties were skipping Nintendo for reasons that had nothing to do with power. But the thing is, there's so many great GameCube classics that a lot of people just want to see come back in some form, even if it is on Nintendo Switch Online. I do think that is probably not in the cards. If I'm being honest, I don't think GameCube games come back through NSO. I understand the system at this point is practically 20 years old, and we're, we're hitting that point where it's sort of a classic. Does that make you feel old, calling GameCube a classic system? Because it kind of fits the definition of becoming a classic. And so it fitting onto the Nintendo Switch Online is just as prevalent as, say, wanting Game Boy Advance to end up on you know, it, that's like the same generation, right? Like, if you want GBA to be N on NSO, well, GameCube's that same gen. So, I do find it quite fascinating, considering that this could be a natural addition to Nintendo Switch Online down the road. But I do think a lot of the games that came out in that generation, barring things like Double Dash and Melee, which have ongoing IPs that get like once per generation and have current renditions on Switch that are the biggest and most popular versions ever. But I do think there's a lot of other games that have been left behind on GameCube that could come back. Now, this includes Metroid Prime 1 and 2. I realize they did bring it back in a trilogy on Wii, but we haven't seen those games in full HD outside of emulation. So I do think that there is something to be said about bringing GameCube games back in a remastered format. I think Nintendo could bring pretty much any major GameCube game back in a remastered HD format and justify selling it for $60. Just for the fact that most of these games haven't been for sale since back then, let alone have they ever been officially in HD. So there's a lot to look into here. Obviously, one particular game from that generation that is coming back in a remastered format is Resident Evil 4. Again, we don't know if that's coming to Switch, but remember, that used to be a GameCube exclusive. Do you guys remember that? It ended up being a timed exclusive, and it's been ported everywhere a billion times, but Resident Evil 4 was a GameCube game, originally, exclusively. Kind of crazy, right? So look, the GameCube is near and dear to many of us for our memories. And we technically have a GameCube game on Switch right now. They sort of HD'd Super Mario Sunshine as part of the Super Mario 3D All-Stars pack that, by the way, they're still selling brand new copies, even though they were supposed to stop. So that was sort of a lie that no one really talks about. But 
There's a lot of great games. Yes, The Wind Waker. Yes, Twilight Princess. But what about Paper Mario and The Thousand Year Door? Wouldn't that be a great one? I'm literally looking up this giant list of games. F-Zero GX. Imagine that coming back in HD. What about Pikmin 2? We have Pikmin 3 and we have Pikmin 4 coming. Why not get Pikmin 2? Why not the original Luigi's Mansion, which did get brought over to 3DS, but why not have a full HD remaster right here on Switch? What about things like Time Splitters 2, an all-time classic? Uh, the Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, why not get a remaster of that? I know there actually is one in the works, by the way, something like that, but why not? Why not get that? What about Tales of Symphonia coming back? I know, technically some of these games have come back on other platforms, but you know what I mean. You know, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2, how about that one? How about Killer 7? What about Fire Emblem Path of Radiance? I mean, there's so many. Beautiful Joe 2, SSX 3, Super Monkey Ball, which I guess has technically come back as well. As So has Super Monkey Ball 2. You can play both of those on Switch right now, for those that weren't aware of that. Uh, Skies of Arcadia, of course, that was obviously a Dreamcast game. But still, why not? Star Fox Adventures, another massive one that personally I think would be really great seeing that come back. Look... I'm not saying that the library for GameCube is Nintendo's biggest library, but I do think that means that it's the library that's most open to these sort of remasters. Like, what is next, right? Nintendo's been porting all these Wii U games. What do they replace the Wii U ports with? GameCube remasters. At least, that's my humble opinion on what Nintendo should do, but that's just one person's take. What I want to know, really, is what you guys think Nintendo should do with all of these GameCube games. Should they remaster them, HD them, bring them back for a full $60? Should they just be part of Nintendo's current Nintendo Switch Online service? Maybe a mix of both. I don't know. You guys let me know. Because I'm very curious what Nintendo's plans are going to be with GameCube. Because I do think that that's sort of what's next. I don't know when we'll get to Wii. But for right now, GameCube feels like that's what's next for Nintendo to tackle in one format or another. Now, this also assumes that Game Boy and Game Boy Color are coming to NSO. Which we have evidence that there was work on it. But it's not announced and still not here. But that's a totally different conversation. All right, guys, you let me know what you think about this stuff down in the comments below. We'll be right back tomorrow with our typical news content. Been dealing with a lot of weather-related problems around here. Uh, we've had a lot of snow. We've had power outages. My parents have had their power out uh, for 12 hours now. Our power never went out for 12 hours, but it keeps flickering. Like I can't do live streams at the moment because the power will just go out randomly like every 45 minutes. Very surprised I even got this video out. So, you guys are awesome and amazing. Uh, we'll be back at our normal content tomorrow, hopefully, crossing our fingers with the weather. The weather grid. I know a lot of you guys are dealing with weather-related problems. There's been tornadoes all over the country. Lots of rain, lots of snow, people getting blasted. I hope everyone is safe, everyone is warm, and uh, let's enjoy heading into our holiday pre-weekend, right? This is the weekend before Christmas. So, how you guys doing? Catch you guys in that next video.